hello everyone welcome back today i'm starting the embryology part so before starting that we will discuss about the flower and before that we will start with the inflorescence so i will cover inflorescence and its, its type in this lecture so what is inflorescence and what are its types so we will discuss about this topic in this lecture so let's start so firstly inflorescence what is inflorescence so kaise <coughs> जो फ्लावर्स हैं वो अरेंज होते हैं फ्लोरल एक्सिस पे या फ्लोरल ब्रांच पे सो दैट अरेंजमेंट ऑफ फ्लावर्स इज नॉन एज इनफ्लोरेसेंस सो द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ फ्लावर्स ऑन द फ्लोरल एक्सिस जो फ्लोरल एक्सिस है उस पे फ्लावर्स कैसे अरेंज होते हैं ऑन द शूट सिस्टम ऑफ द प्लांट इज कॉमनली नॉन एज इनफ्लोरेसेंस सो इस इस अरेंजमेंट को हम इनफ्लोरेसेंस कहते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव दिस ब्रांच सो इसमें जो फ्लावर्स की अरेंजमेंट है किस तरह से फ्लावर्स इस पर अरेंज है सो दिस अरेंजमेंट इज नॉन एज इनफ्लोरेसेंस सो द करेक्टरिस्टिक इज फाउंड टू बी कॉन्स्टेंट इन नंबर ऑफ फैमिलीज सो दिस इज द इम्पोर्टेंट करेक्टर फॉर द टेक्सोनॉमिक स्टडीज ऑफ प्लांट ऑल्सो सो टेक्सोनॉमिक स्टडीज में ये इन्फ्लोरेसेंस बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करता है इट हेल्प्स इन क्लासीफिकेशन ऑफ वेरियस प्लान्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव सम फैमिलीज इसमें कुछ एक कैरेक्टर्स कॉन्स्टेंट रहते हैं सो दे हेल्प इन टेक्सोनॉमिक आइडेंटिफिकेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव वन इन्फ्लोरसेंस दैट इज कैपिचुलम कॉमनली नॉन एज हैड इन्फ्लोरसेंस सो ये फीचर है इट इज़ द करेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ एस्ट्रेसी जो कंपोजिटी पुराना नाम था इसका दैट वॉज द ओल्ड नेम सो जो एस्ट्रेसी है विच इज़ द लार्जेस्ट डाइकॉट फैमिली सो इसकी जो करेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर है इट हैज़ कैपिचुलम इन्फ्लोरसेंस दैन वी हैव वर्टी सलास्टर इन्फ्लोरसेंस विच इज़ द यूनिक फीचर ऑफ फैमिली लेमिएसी अर्लियर इट वॉज नॉन एज लेबिएटी दैन वी हैव अनदर इन्फ्लोरसेंस दैट इज अम्बल इन्फ्लोरसेंस विच इज़ द करेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ फैमिली एपीएसी एंड अर्लियर इट वॉज नॉन बाय द नेम अम्बली फेरी सो दिस इन्फ्लोरसेंस प्लेज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन टेक्सोनॉमिक स्टडीज सो इट हेल्प्स इन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एरियस प्लान्स For example, we have this uh, flower. This photograph which shows uh, the uh, member of Astrisi, which is sunflower, Helianthus annuus, and this inflorescence is known as a capitulum inflorescence. Then we have this verticillaster inflorescence. Inflorescence. This photograph shows this verticillaster inflorescence, which is the characteristic feature of family Lamiaceae. Then we have finally the capitulum. Uh, sorry, the umbel inflorescence, which is the characteristic feature of family Apiaceae. दैन फ्लावर्स आर क्वाइट ऑफन नॉट प्रेजेंट इन सॉलिटरी मैनर जो फ्लावर्स हैं वैसे सॉलिटरी मैनर में नहीं प्रेजेंट होते बट देर आर सम एक्सेप्शन सॉलिटरी मीन्स वैन देर इज ऑनली वन सिंगल टर्मिनल फ्लावर इन द फ्लोरल ब्रांच जो ब्रांच है उसके टिप में एक ही फ्लावर प्रेजेंट होता है सो दैट टाइप ऑफ फ्लोर इन्फ्लोरसेंस इज नॉन एज सॉलिटरी इन्फ्लोरसेंस और सभी प्लांट्स में ये नहीं होता है बट देर आर सम प्लांट्स विच शो दिस सॉलिटरी इन्फ्लोरसेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव दिस फ्लावर दिस इज द फ्लावर ऑफ चाइना रोज एंड इस पटेनिकल नेम इज हिबिस्कस रोजा साइनेंसिस so it is china rose it shows solitary inflorescence then jo inflorescence have broadly hum isko teen categories mein divide karte hain so namely one is racemose and it is also known as indefinite yes sir kyun bolte hain isko that we will learn in, when we read, study it in detail then next is cymose or definite inflorescence then finally the special types of inflorescence so we will discuss uh, these types of inflorescence in detail one by one So firstly, we will start with the racemose inflorescence. It is also known as indefinite one. Why this is commonly known as indefinite one? So this is the photograph which shows racemose type of inflorescence. Is me kya hota hai? Jo apical portion hai iska, ye continuously grow karta rehta hai aur isme flower nahi banta hai. Jo flowers hain, they are they are formed literally literal position mein bante hain. Aur jo arrangement of flowers hai, that in that is in acropetal manner. What is this acropetal manner? जिसमें जो ओल्डेस्ट है दैट इज एट द बेस और जो यंगेस्ट है दैट इज एट द पैक सो फ्लावर्स जो ओल्डेस्ट है वो बेस में बनता है और यंगेस्ट टिप में बनता है सो दिस टाइप ऑफ अरेंजमेंट इज देयर सो द मेन एक्सेस ऑफ द इन्फ्लोरसेंस ग्रोज इन एन इनडेफिनेट मैनर सो जो मेन एक्सेस है इन्फ्लोरसेंस की ये ग्रो करती है इनडेफिनेट मैनर में मीन्स कॉन्टीन्यूसली ग्रो करता रहता है सिंस फ्लावर इज नेवर फॉर्म एट द एपैक्स और जो फ्लावर है वो एपैक्स में नहीं बनता है द फ्लावर्स आर बॉर्न लिटरली इन एन एक्रोपिटल सक्सेशन दैट हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इट मीन्स जो लोअर और आउटर फ्लावर्स हैं दे आर ओल्डर जो लोअर फ्लावर्स हैं ओल्डर हैं एंड द अपर एंड इनर फ्लावर्स आर यंगर सो दिस टाइप ऑफ अरेंजमेंट इज कॉमनली नॉन एज एक्रोपिटल अरेंजमेंट 
So this is also known as centripetal order of the opening of flower when the outer flowers open first or the inner flowers in the last may open. So that type of opening of flower arrangement is known as centripetal order. So the racimos type of inflorescence is of several types that we'll discuss one by one. So this is the uh, racine, typical racine inflorescence which is present in the Brassica campestris. So this uh, slide shows various types of racimos inflorescence. Broadly, we have three categories divided. Karte One is main axis elongated, which means the main axis is elongated. And these further different types, ka hai. for example, we have simple raceme, then spike, then catkin, spikelet, spadix, and panicle. The next we have the second category, which means the main axis is shortened, hai. means it is not that So it is of two types. One is corymb and other is umbel inflorescence. Jo is herring ke under aata hai. Then third type is when the main axis is flattened or globose. Jab jo main axis hai, wo flat ho hai. So isme hum ek inflorescence padhenge that is head or capitulum, which is the characteristic feature of family Asprisi. So ye different categories hain uh, racemose inflorescence ki. So under racemose inflorescence, the first category is where the main axis is elongated. This is the main axis of elongate and this is the first category that is raceme. So in this type of inflorescence, the flowers and they are born in an acropetal succession. Just like we have studied in raceme over an elongated axis. It acropetal means, uh, acropetal succession means oldest flower are born in the base and the youngest flowers are the apex and present. And the flowers they are stalked means they have pedicel. So this is the animated photograph which shows this raceme inflorescence. The oldest flower is in the base and the youngest flower that is at the apex. So the lower flowers have longer stalks. The base flowers are in the base. The stalk is pedicel the base. longer as compared to the apical flowers. So the lower flowers have longer stalks in mustard, glumohol etc. So in these plants mustard hai brassica campestris gulmohar that is daronyx regia in mein jo uh, lower stalks hoti hain lower flowers ki wo uh, zyada lambi hoti as compared to the upper flowers so this is the flower of brassica campestris jisme jo oldest flower hai wo base mein present hote hain aur youngest flower they are present at the apex aur isme stalks lambe hote hain at the basal flowers jinko pedicel kaha jata hai in Delonyx, the axis of raceme is branched. The axis has raceme ki wo branched hoti hai. This main axis is branched. Or the flowers are there born in the, on the branches of the axis. And each branch looking like a separate raceme. Jisse ki har ek jo branch hai, wo separate raceme ki tarah dikhti hai. Or is tarah ki raceme ko kaha jata hai. Compound raceme or panicle. So this is the photograph which shows this compound raceme. So har ek jo branch hai, usme racemose type uh, flowers ke arrangement hoti hai aur it gives the uh, appearance of compound raceme aur use panicle bhi kaha jata hai so this is all about the raceme inflorescence next comes spike so jo spike inflorescence hai it is similar to racemose inflorescence but isme jo flowers hote hain they are stalkless it's sessile flowers are present so the main axis remains elongated jaisa ki raceme raceme mein pada tha and the lower flowers are older means acropetal order mein flowers uh, grow karte hain it differs from a typical raceme in having sessile flowers in mein jo flowers hote hain they are sessile means they are without pedicels so pedicel isme nahi hota hai sessile flowers are there for example jo sc inflorescence ke hain they are seen in case of amaranthus and achyranthus so this is the uh, photograph which shows inflorescence in case of amaranthus uh, it is also used as a vegetable जो ये लीव्स हैं इसके अमरंथस के ये लीव्स वेजिटेबल के लिए यूज किए जाते हैं ग्रीन लीफी वेजिटेबल्स के लिए और इसे कंज्यूम किया जाता है देन वी हैव दिस एकाइरेंथस इसमें भी स्पाइकल इनफ्लोरेसेंस प्रेजेंट होती है एंड दिस इज द प्रोग्राफ ऑफ दिस एकाइरेंथस कॉमनली इसे हिंदी में कहा जाता है पुटकंडा सो so, इसमें जो सीड्स होते हैं वो हैंग पोजीशन में होते हैं एंड दे स्टिक टू द क्लॉथ्स so this is Achyranthus. The next 
type of racemose inflorescence is spikelet or ye jo inflorescence it is mostly found in the member of family poesi jo grasses hain and uh, grass family mein mostly ye wali inflorescence present hoti hai so uh, each spikelet may bear one to several flowers so ye jo inflorescence hai isme ek se aur ek se zyada flowers hote hain and these flowers are known as florets and they are attached to the central stalk or central axis and that axis is known as racula and it is found in the member of family poesi for example we have wheat that is triticum astium so this is the photograph animated photograph which shows this uh, inflorescence that is spikelet so it consists of a central axis stalk jise kaha jata hai rachis or racula and it bears number of flowers and they are arranged in the inflorescence which is known as spikelet so iske jo flowers and they are formed of glium lemma and pelia that we will discuss next slide and this is the flower which uh, contains this uh female reproductive structure that is stigma ovary then male reproductive structure that is anther and filament so examples of spikelet are seen in various members of family poesi that is the grass family and the some of the examples are wheat oat paddy barley etc next comes the structure of spikelet so it consists of a pair of sterile gliomes at the base of spikelet the lower or outer gliome is called the first one and the upper inner one is called second one so in this for uh, animated photograph we can see here so spikelet bana hota hai do gliome se one is the lower one which is called the first one and then the upper one is the second gliome next just above the gliomes there is series of florets partly enclosed by them so iske upar present hote hain bahut sare florets so that we can see in this photograph each floret has its base a lemma and a pelia so har ek jo floret hai iske base mein present hota hai ek lemma or then second bracket like structure is pelia the lemma is the lower outer bracket of the floret so that we can see in this diagram so lemma is the lower one lower bracket of the floret usually the lemma is also known as inferior pelia so jo lemma hai se inferior pelia bhi kaha jata hai bear a long on on is the this needle like structure so isme ek uh, needle like structure present hota hai uh, as an extension of midrib so this is extension of midrib aur ye hota hai extension midrib ka at the apex or back the floral parts born in the axil of lemma so jo floral parts hain wo iske axil mein bane hote hain and the pelia also known as superior pelia often with two longitudinal ridges it bears two longitudinal ridges jinhe keel kaha jata hai aur nerves kaha jata hai stand between the lemma and the racula so they stand between the lemma and the racula iske beech mein ye lie karta hai so flowers and glooms are arranged on the spikelet flowers or jo glooms hain wo spikelet pe arranged hote hain in two opposite rows that we can see so two opposite rows mein ye present hote hain so this is the this is the photograph real photograph which shows this outer gloom which is the first one the second gloom then comes the florets aur jo floret hai isme present hota hai lower one lemma jisme ki long on uh, shape structure present hota hai which is needle like structure then uh, upper one is pelia so uh, iske andar present hota hai the male and female reproductive structure anther and uh, the pistil so this is the structure of spikelet inflorescence the next type of inflorescence is catkin or amentum type of inflorescence which is the which is a type of racemos inflorescence so it is a modification of spike and this is unisexual inflorescence that is one inflorescence is only made up of male flower and second one is made up of only female flowers so this is the male inflorescence which consists of male only male flowers or the male flowers and they are made up of anthers and filaments and this is the sepal and this is the female flower in case of uh, mulberry that is morus nigra or morus alba so this is again an inflorescence this is a female inflorescence female catkin inflorescence it consists of the female flowers so this is individual female flower which consists of the stigma style and ovary so this is a modified spike a modified spike inflorescence say with a long and drooping axis which bear unisexual flowers so each inflorescence bear 
uh, unisexual flower, either male or female flowers. So this type of inflorescence is mostly found in case of mulberry, that is Morus alba, and then birch, that is betula. Betula is commonly a this vernacular name is bhojpatra. Then comes oak, which is quarker species, and the salix. So this photograph shows both male and female inflorescence. So this is the male inflorescence, and this is the female inflorescence. So this is all about the catkin ornamentum inflorescence, which is found in case of mulberry. Next comes the type of racemose inflorescence that is spadix. It is the modification of spike inflorescence. It consists of central axis, which bear clusters of flowers that may be unisexual or bisexual, which are covered by one or more brightly colored large size bracket genicata spathe. So this is the uh, animated photograph which supports, uh, shows spadix inflorescence of Aaron family. It consists of a peduncle. Then it bears the axis floral uh, inflorescence axis which bear clusters of flowers or a smidge of flowers but then they are unisexual it means it bear pistillate and staminate flowers and which are covered by one large size bracket jacata spathe and this entire structure form the spadix inflorescence it includes fleshy spike and clusters of unisexual apetalous flowers means uh, flowers without petal then this is the bananas inflorescence it also bear a large size spathe bracket which is purple in color at its base it bears in the flowers or is major flowers present or then they are bisexual flowers so this is also a modification of spike inflorescence having fleshy axis which remains enclosed by one or more large size brightly colored bracket genicata spathes and this type of inflorescence is mostly found in the members of family ericaceae musaceae and palmaceae or mostly a monocotyledonous plants may present hota hai. so this is the for uh, animated photograph which shows the floral description of bananas flower it consists of uh, spadix inflorescence or just pathe bracket hote hain iske base mein present the flowers which are bisexual flowers or isme present hote hain tepals which are fused tepals are the structure when we are not able to distinguish between petals and sepals jab hum differentiate nahi kar pate hain petal sepal mein then we, we use the term tepal and they constitute to form perianth then it consists of labellum, then the male reproductive structure that stamen, female reproductive structure that gynoecium. This is the cross section of uh, ovary. This is the floral diagram, and this is the floral formula. So floral description, hum detail parenge in upcoming lectures. Next we have inflorescence in case of Colocasia jagentia. That is again the sparrix inflorescence. Is me, jo female flowers hain, wo base mein present hote hain, aur jo male flowers hain, wo middle portion mein present hote hain, aur appendix six structure hai jo ki tip mein present hota hai. So this is the inflorescence which represent in case of uh, Thailand giant that is Colocasia gigantea. So it consists of uh, spadix, uh, spathe, which is covering hai, white color ka, ye jo bracket. Hai, this is spathe, and this is the middle portion hai, present hote hai, male flowers, and in the lower portion, basal portion, female flowers are present and they will develop the seeds later on. So this type of inflorescence is present in case of thailand giant that is colocasia jagentia then we have one edible species that is colocasia esculenta so this is the photograph of colocasia esculenta ye ek edible uh iske tubers edible hai. next we have the largest inflorescence largest inflorescence hoti hai amorphophallus ki Amorphophallus, we are the largest inflorescence, and this is the species which is titanum. So that we can see in this photograph. So this is the giant inflorescence. Next category of racemose inflorescence, the main axis is shortened. Or is hum jo pehle inflorescence padhing, that is corymb. Isme jo larger flowers hote hain, they have long stalks. Or jo smaller flowers hain, unme short stalk hote hain, jisse ki jo sare ke sare flowers hain, they come to lie in the same plane just as the flowers a key plane and this type of inflorescence is most commonly found in case of ibris amara that is candy tuft plant so the main axis is reduced the main axis is reduced in the length in such a manner that the older flowers with longer stalks come to lie in the same plane in which the younger flowers are so jahan pe younger flowers ki uh, uh, ki length hai wahin tak jo older flowers hai wo bhi wahan tak aate hain because they have long stalks aur ye jo flowers hain they are mostly present in case of candy tuft plant and its botanical name is ibris amara and this is the photograph of this plant uh, ibris amara it shows its inflorescence which is the 
Corimb inflorescence. Next type of racemose inflorescence in which the axis is suppressed, that is umbel inflorescence. Is me jo main axis hai, wo suppressed ho jati hai, aur sare ke sare flowers arise hote hain, single point se, and they reach they reach to up to the same level. So this type of inflorescence is known as umbel inflorescence, or ye mostly present hota in case of family Apiaceae ke member mein. So this is again the photograph which shows this. Uh, Humble inflorescence is may a key point is a sari flowers arise out the main axis are reduced to the single point of one say arise with flowers and they reach up to the same level. And this is the hogweed. This the name is Harrisilium hogweed. So, this is the typical example of this humble uh, inflorescence. A key point is a sari flowers arise out the or jo a flower ka group. Hai, this one. Uh, branch that is known as umblet is umblet and, and this whole inflorescence is known as umbel inflorescence. So the axis is completely suppressed to a single point. The axis is a single point mein suppress ho jati hai. as a result of which all the flowers arise from a single point. Sare sare flowers a key point se arise hote hai from single point and reach a common level or a common level, a common height that points hai, as in the member of family. Umbelifery, you say Apiaceae kaha hai aajkal. Coriander family. In the coriander as fen and fennel etc. So this is the photograph of coriander. So is me am dek sakte hai, it shows the umbel in persons. So the flowers are born not on the main axis but on the tips of branches of the main axis. So is ke tips, uh, jo main branch of ke tips ke mein jo branches arise hoti hai. Pe flowers grow karte. So this is all about the umbel inflorescence. This next category it is not mentioned in all the books. So in this uh, type of racemos inflorescence, the main axis I was pressed to the and this is uh, this shows the unique type of inflorescence that is capitan inflorescence. Or say we had and uh, this is the program which shows this head inflorescence or ye hai characteristic feature acacia plant ka. So it differs from umbel. Umbel is different in having sessile flowers. This means the flowers are sessile means without stalk or pedicel. And flowers forming a global structure, ball like structure. For example, in case of members of family, uh, uh, Fabaceae ke hi sub members hai. Acacia hai, Mimosa hai. So in these plants, this type of inflorescence is present. And this is known as capitate inflorescence. This means that flowers are sessile and a ball ki appearance. Hai. The third category of racemose inflorescence is uh, in which the main axis is flattened. This is main axis is flat to form a receptacle like structure. And the example of this type of inflorescence is capitulum. It is also known by the name head or anthodium. So it is the characteristic of family Astraceae. So this is the diagram of chrysanthemum, which is also a member of family Astraceae. So this is the main axis. Uh, banata ek structure flat cup ki tarah structure jise kaha jata hai receptacle aur iske upar flowers arranged hote hain jo older flowers hain they are at the peripheral region aur jo younger flowers hain they are the central region aur isme jo flowers hain they are differentiated into two types of florets isme jo flowers hain unhe florets kaha jata hai so outer peripheral are the ray flowers or ray florets aur jo central hain these are commonly known as disc florets so this is the flower of sunflower uh, sunflower mein bhi jo peripheral uh, petal like structures hai. these are the, the ray florets or the central portion hai, which is occupied by the disc florets or is me present with the reproductive structures so in this type of inflorescence, sense main axis is in the form of flattened receptacle or the older flowers and they are born on the peripheral region or the younger flowers and they are born in the center or the flowers hai, in a kind of florets in some plants they are differentiated into two kinds the florets are two types of differentiated the inner one are known as uh, the disc florets and the outer one is called ray florets in the several members of family Astraceae and the capitulum hai, that may also consist of one kind of florets uh, in some members like there are only tubular florets in case of agiratum uh, 
सो एजरेटम एक जीनस है जिसमें सिर्फ ट्यूबुलर फ्लोरट्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं और ओनली रे फ्लोरट्स और स्ट्रैप शेड फ्लोरट्स फ्लोरट्स जो कि प्रेजेंट होते हैं जीनस सॉन्कस में विच आर बोथ दिस बोथ आर द मेम्बर्स ऑफ फैमिली एस्ट्रेसी देन आर कैपिचुलम और हेड इज कैक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ फैमिली एस्ट्रेसी दैट वी ऑलरेडी नो For example, this type of inflorescence is found in sunflower, that is Helianthus sanus, which is the botanical name. Then marigold, Tagetus indica, and another another species, Tagetus minuta, Tagetus erecta. Then comes safflower, which is a very important flower. It is its botanical name is Carthamus tinctorius, commonly known as safflower. Or its seeds are there, they produce oil, and uh, its flowers are also used to prepare dyes. Then we have another example like Zinnia. Cosmos, Tridex, Vernonia. So these are very beautiful flowers, which are of use for ornamental purposes. So this is the uh, animated photograph of sunflower, which uh, sunflower inflorescence. So this whole inflorescence is known as anthodium head or capitulum. Its major receptacle hai, that is formed by the flattening of main axis. Its major ray florets are peripheral region present, hote hai, or disc florets present hote hai, central region. Mein. So this is the uh, ray floret, and these two are the disc florets and they are showing the male or female reproductive structures and all these different diagrams that they show the developmental stages of these structures so uh, next we have some photographs of these members of family uh, astrici for example we have the sunflower that we have already discussed and we have marigold indica this is the photograph of marigold indica and this botanical name is testis indica Next we have safflower, which is uh, Carthamus tinctorius. Or its case, the seeds are they are used for preparation of oils, and these flowers are used for preparation of dyes. Next, this is the photograph of zinnia. It's a very important plant, zinnia. It is used for ornamental purposes. And next we have cosmos. These are also ornamental, used for ornamental purposes. Next is tridex. This is the photograph of Tridex, and then next comes Vernonia. So these are some the members of family Astrisi, and this is all about the next important fact that the Capitulum inflorescence has been considered to be the most perfect inflorescence. So there are some reason for this uh, inflorescence that it is the most perfect inflorescence. So the first reason is. इसमें जो इंडिविजुअल फ्लावर्स होते हैं दे आर क्वाइट स्मॉल एंड आर मास्ट टुगेदर इन हेड्स एंड देयर फोर दे एड ग्रेटर कॉन्स्पिकनेस और यूनिकनेस टू द फ्लावर एंड दे अट्रैक्ट द इंसेक्ट एंड फ्लाइज फॉर द पॉलिनेशन सो एक तो रीज़न ये है कि इसमें जो फ्लावर्स हैं वो साइज छोटा होता है और एक ही फ्लैट सरफेस पे अरेंज होते हैं जिसकी वजह से एक यूनिकनेस प्रोवाइड करता है इस फ्लार इन इंफ्लोसेंस को और इट इज़ मोर अट्रैक्टिव फॉर insects and flies to visit this flower then the second reason is at the same time there is considerable saving of material in the construction of corolla and other floral parts so ye jo inflorescence hai isme jo flowers hain wo material ko save karte hain considerable saving ho jati hai material ki for the construction uh, of otherwise they have to construct their corollas and other floral parts so isme zyada zarurat nahi padti hai inko so that's why jo Capitulum inflorescence it is the perfect considered as most perfect inflorescence in plant kingdom the next type of inflorescence is cymose inflorescence it is also known as definite inflorescence because the main floral axis hai that terminates into flower that we can see in this uh, diagram so isme jo main axis hai flower ki ye terminate ho jati hai flower mein so jo oldest flower hai वो टर्मिनल uh, पोजीशन में बनता है और जो यंगेस्ट फ्लावर है वो बेसल पोजीशन में सब टर्मिनल पोजीशन पर ग्रो करते हैं दिस इज अदर एग्जांपल सो इन दिस फोटोग्राफ यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज द ओल्डेस्ट फ्लावर जो कि टिप में बनता है जो यंगर फ्लावर है वो बेस में लिटल पोजीशन में बेसल पोजिशन में बनते हैं और ये जो अरेंजमेंट है फ्लावर्स की इसे कहा जाता है बेसी पिटल अरेंजमेंट सो द टाइप ऑफ इन्फ्लोसेंस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड डेफिनेट इसे डेफिनेट भी कहा था बिकॉज इसमें जो मेन एक्सेज है इट एंड अप इन टर्मिनल फ्लावर जो मेन एक्सिस की ग्रोथ है वो टर्मिनल फ्लावर पे स्टॉप हो जाती है एंड द ग्रोथ कम्स टू अ स्टॉप जिससे कि ग्रोथ इसकी रुक जाती है फ्लावर्स आर देन बोर्न ऑन द ब्रांचेस जो कि सब टर्मिनल पोजीशन पे प्रेजेंट होते हैं सो इट इज़ बिलो द टर्मिनल पोजीशन सो जो नए फ्लावर्स बनते हैं वो सब टर्मिनल पोजीशन पर बनते हैं 
here the flower develops in bicipital succession that is the terminal flower have oldest hai, or the lateral ones and they are the younger one uh, and there is another arrangement which is also known as centrifugal arrangement it means the center ke flowers hai, agar circular position pe inflorescence hai, so center ke flowers will open and the younger flowers will open honge. so this tarah ke arrangement ko hum bolte hai, centrifugal arrangement so cymose inflorescence is of following types cymose inflorescence different types ki hoti hai. This is also the example of cymose inflorescence. It is present in case of Solanum nigrum. This major terminal flower is the oldest or younger flower base may present on the lateral position. Next comes types of cymose inflorescence. So it is of three types. One is monocasial cyme, second is dicasial cyme, third one is polycasial cyme. This monocasial cyme is of uh, three different types. One is helicoid, second is scorpoid. Third one is sympodial uh, monocasial cyme. So we will discuss about these types of cymose inflorescence one by one in detail. Firstly, uniparous or monocasial cyme. So this uh, main axis hai wo terminate ho jata hai into the flower. Or the next flowers bante hai, they are subterminal in position means terminal flower ke niche ki taraf banenge. So when the main axis stops growth as a result of formation of terminal flower. Further growth of flowering occurs by means of a single lateral branch arising below it. So, is flower ke niche jo uh, branch ko karegi, wahan se flower arise honge. So, this type of cyme is known as monocasial cyme. So, the branch also ends up in a terminal flower. So, next branch hai, usme bhi terminal flower banega. Then next and further flowering branches arise in a similar manner. So, first one is this, or iske lateral position pe aur banega, iske lateral position pe aur flower banega. So, this type of arrangement. Uh, flowers is known as monocasial cyme. So it is of two different types. So this universe cyme or monocasial cyme is of two different types. One is the scorpoid cyme and second one is the helicoid cyme. So the scorpoid cyme is the arrangement hoti hai, that is in zigzag manner. The flowers ke arrangement hai, that is zigzag manner or the helicoid type is uh, helix, helix shape mein arrangement hoti of flowers. Ki. So that we will discuss one by one in detail. So firstly, helicoid uh, monocasial cyme. So in this type, we can see here, the terminal axis have wo terminate at the flower mein, or lateral position pe, jo branch hai, that also terminates into the flower. Then again, is ki lateral position pe or flower banega. Again, is ki lateral position pe or flower banega. So this type of arrangement is known as helicoid monocasial cyme. But jo flower ki uh, growth hogi, that is in only one direction. So when the lateral axis develops successively on the same side, forming a short helix, the cymose inflorescence is also known as helicoid or one-sided cyme. For example, in Begonia, Juncus, uh, Hemerocallis, and some other members of family Solanaceae. So, in me, ye is tarah ki inflorescence present hoti hai. So, this is the photograph of Hemelia pittens. Is pe bhi uh, monocasial helicoid cyme present hoti hai. When the flowers are in different planes, jab flowers different planes me hoti hai helicoid form mein, so isse kaha jata hai bostrix. And when the floral axis form the pseudopodium, the floral axis is pseudopodium and the flowers come to lie in the same plane or just the flowers they come to lie in the same plane that uh, in that case we use the term dipranium, dripanium. So dripanium term is used for that type of inflorescence. So these are the type of helicoid inflorescence. Next type of monocasial cyme inflorescence is scorpoid type. In this inflorescence, the flowers have a zigzag position per grow. Karte so, when the lateral branches develop alternate sides, forming a zigzag cymose inflorescence, it is known as scorpoid. So, in this photograph, in this uh, diagram, we can see here this is the first flower, or its lateral position per grow. Karega flower, then it grows alternatively. So, this alternate pattern, which gives the appearance of zigzag path. So that type of inflorescence is known as scorpoid or alternate sided cyme. And this type of inflorescence is found in gossypium that is cotton plant, then drosera, sundew plant, heliotropium and frisia. So ye kuch plants hai jinme ye is tarah ki inflorescence present hoti hai. So isi inflorescence mein monocasial cyme hai jab flowers arrange hote hai in def different planes. When flowers are in different planes, so this type of uh, monocasial scorpoid uh, inflorescence is known as syncinus, syncinus condition. So, isko syncinus condition kehte hai. 
when the entire axis become erect jab sari ki sari axis erect ho jaye seedha ek structure ban jaye so that axis is known as pseudopodium use pseudopodium kaha jata hai and because the flowers come to lie in the same plane so jo flowers hain wo same plane pe lie karte hain so this type is known as rifidium ise rifidium kaha jata hai so this is the photograph which shows this uh, uh, scorpoid monocasial simon for instance jo zigzag manner mein grow karte hain flowers again this is the rifidium jisme sabhi jo flowers hain lagbhag ek hi plane pe grow karte hain ek hi plane pe aate hain same plane pe so this type of inflorescence is known as rifidium this is again the uh, plant of heliotropium which shows this zigzag pattern of flowers and this is scorpoid inflorescence next we have this uh, slide which shows different types of uh, inflorescence monocasium in which a cyme is only on a single little branch that we can see in this then bostrix uh, so ye bhi ek type hai monocasial cyme ka helicoid cyme when the branching on the same side often leading to a curl jab branching ek hi taraf hoga and leads to the formation of a curl that structure is known as bostrix so monocasial cyme ka type hai then cincinnus cincinnus is also a type of scorpoid cyme that we have already discussed just in branching a spiral a pattern mein hoti hai so this type of uh, uh, inflorescence is known as cincinnus and we have rifidium rifidium again this is a type of scorpoid cyme with alternate branching in a zigzag pattern so next we will discuss in next slide next the third type of monocasial cyme is sympodial cyme sometimes in uniper cyme jo monocasial cyme hai successive axis may be at first curved pehle ya to curved hoga ya fir zigzag as in scorpoid cyme but later on it becomes straight baad mein ye seedha straight grow karta hai due to rapid growth due to fast growth thus forming a central pseudo axis jiske result se ek central pseudo axis banti hai this type of inflorescence is known as sympodial cyme is tarah ke inflorescence ko sympodial cyme kehte hain and it is found in the subfamily of family solanaceae for example we have solanum nigrum so isme is tarah ki inflorescence present hoti hai initially it can grow as a curl curved or seedha zigzag path mein grow karega but later on it grows in a straight uh, line to form pseudo axis aur is tarah ke inflorescence ko kehte hain pseudo podial uh, sympodial cyme next type of cyme whose inflorescence is biparous or dicasial cyme why it is called so biparous cyme differs from uniparous cyme in having two branches दो ब्रांचेज डेवलप करती हैं एवरी टाइम अ ब्रांच स्टॉप्स ग्रोथ ऑन द अकाउंट ऑफ टर्मिनल फ्लावर सो जब भी ब्रांच की ग्रोथ रुकती है सो इट गिव राइज टू टर्मिनल फ्लावर दैट वी कैन सी इन दिस फॉर डायग्राम है डायग्राम ऑफ डायंथस इसमें जो एक्स मेन एक्सिस है टर्न इन टू द फ्लावर और जो लिटरल दो ब्रांचेज हैं वो इसके सब टर्मिनल पोजिशन से ग्रो करती है दे आल्सो फॉर्म द फ्लावर लेटर ऑन सो पहले इनिशियली सेंटर में फ्लावर बनेगा दैन देर आर टू ब्रांचेज जिसमें जिसके टिप में फ्लावर्स बनेंगे सिमिलरली ये जो ब्रांचेस है दे विल अगेन फॉर्म्स टू फ्लावर ऑन द लिटरल साइड सो देर आर थ्री फ्लावर्स वन इज ओल्डेस्ट इज एट द सेंटर एंड टू आर दिटरल पोजिशन सो लिटरल एंड सक्सीडिंग ब्रांचेज इन टर्न इन देयर टर्न बिहेव इन द सेम मैनर जैसे जो लिटरल ब्रांचेज हैं वो भी इसी सेंट्रल ब्रांच की तरह बिहेव करें दे विल प्रोड्यूस टू अदर फ्लावर्स ऑन द लिटरल साइड एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ इन्फ्लोसेंस इज फाउंड इन केस ऑफ जैसमिन टी काजोरा सेपोन एरिया एक्सेट्रा एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज ट्रू साइम इसे ट्रू साइम भी कहा जाता है और कंपाउंड डाइकेजियम साइम भी कहा जाता है सो दिस इज द बाईपेरस और डाइकेजियम नेक्स्ट कम्स द थर्ड टाइप ऑफ साइम ओज इन्फ्लोसेंस दैट इज मल्टी पेरस और पॉलीकेजियल साइम सो इन दिस टाइप ऑफ इन्फ्लोसेंस जब जो मेन एक्सिस है इट टर्न इन टू फ्लार और इसके सब टर्नल पोजिशन पे मोर देन टू फ्लार्स आर प्रोड्यूस ऑन द लिटरल साइड जब दो से ज्यादा फ्लार्स प्रोड्यूस होते हैं सो दैट टाइप ऑफ इन्फ्लोसेंस इज नॉन एज मल्टी पेरस or polycasial sign so if more than two flowers dwell from a point below the terminal flower so jo terminal flower ke niche wala point agar wahan se do se zyada flowers produce hote hain and that pattern is repeated in all the branches of inflorescence so that type of inflorescence is known as multiparous sign or polycasial sign bhi se kaha jata hai and the whole inflorescence looks like umbel jo aise umbel inflorescence humne padha tha waise hi dikhta hai but isko hum differentiate karte hain from the later by the opening of middle flower first jo middle flower hai wo pehle open hota hai means the oh, the central flower jo main axis wala flower hai wo pehle open hota hai then later on other flowers open so that's why this is 
the Simo's inferences and this type of inferences is found in Ak, uh, Calotropis procera and it is a zero freak plant. So this is the program which is the uh, which is showing this polykazial syme and this is the inflorescence which is present in Calotropis procera. So this is all about the Simo's inferences. The next category of inflorescence is mixed inflorescence. Mixed means the racemos or cymos dono either are gave floral arrangements same inflorescence may present to them. So that type of inflorescence is known as a mixed inflorescence. So when both racemos and cymos types of floral arrangements are present on the same inflorescence, so that type of inflorescence is known as mixed inflorescence. So mixed inflorescence is of two types. One is th uh, thyrsus, other is vertis luster. Then we have next category of inflorescence that is special inflorescence. Is may have discussed carrying a scythium inflorescence, then hypanthorium inflorescence, and synanthium inflorescence. The first category of uh, mixed inflorescence is the thyrsus inflorescence. In this type of inflorescence, number of cymose cluster are born appropriately on the unlimited axis in the manner of racine. So uh, many cymose clusters grow karte hain. appropriately it means the youngest will be on top and the oldest will be on the base on the unlimited axis which is the unlimited axis which is just similar to that of the racim so in this uh, diagrammatic presentation we can see here so the oldest will be on the base hoga, but the arrangement hai in flowers ki, that is in cymose manner but acropital arrangement hai. It means the young, youngest is at the apex or the oldest of base present hoga, and this axis is unlimited which is just similar to that of the racim. So this may mix the inflorescence uh, flowers arrangement that is racim as well as uh, cymos. So that type of inflorescence is known as thyrsus inflorescence. This is seen in lilac and grape wine. So this is the thyrsus uh, program of thyrsus inflorescence. The second type of mixed inflorescence is vertex luster inflorescence or ye characteristic feature of family Lamiaceae. Uh, so it is a complex type of inflorescence. A complex type of inflorescence is in the Labiati family, also known as Lamiaceae family. The leaves are of opposite superposed type. This means the leaves are in opposite direction. That we can see in this for diagram. In the axil of each leaf is a present condensed biparasyme. So here is the axil may present hote hain, biparasyme. It means one branch say two two flowers uh, rise hote hain. Syme consisting of sessile flowers. But this major flowers hote hain, they are sessile, they are means they are without pedicel. The biparasymes end in scorpoid syme. Jo biparasyme that ends in scorpoid syme. It means ki zigzag uh, manner mein, uh, flowers grow karenge. Next, the flowers of two inflorescence are crowded. The two inflorescence are flowers and they are crowded together to form a false world. A false world means a circle of flowers in the node. So, example of this type of inflorescence are, uh, for example, we have salvia, coileus, osseum sanctum, etc. So, this is the characteristic feature of family Lamiaceae. That we can see in this photograph. This is the photograph of Osimum. So, this is the node of the flowers in the form of whorls, which is a false whorl. So, this is all about, all about the inflorescence word Tisilaster. So, this is diagrammatic representation of both these uh, thyrsus or word Tisilaster inflorescence that we have already discussed. Next comes special type of inflorescence that is hypanthorium. This inflorescence means a receptacle that grows into a fleshy cavity. A cavity may grow karta hai and it bears three types of flowers. Jo mouth ki is jo is uh, receptacle ka mouth hai. Uski opening ke pas present hote hai male flowers and at the base it bears the female flowers and in the middle portion it bears the sterile flower which are known as gall flowers. So the fleshy receptacle grown into a hollow cavity which is closed except at the tip closed but the tip is open hai. the cavity is lined with the male flowers the cavity is here male flowers are present hote hai, near the tip and the female flowers are near the base that we can see in this diagram the, fl the flowers are unisexual means 
या तो मेल फ्लावर्स होंगे या फीमेल फ्लावर्स होंगे द फीमेल फ्लावर्स डेल पर द बेस ऑफ द कैविटी एंड द मेल फ्लावर्स टू वर्ड द एपिकल पोर दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ इन्फ्लोरेसेंस इज फाउंड इन द जीनस फाइकस मेंबर ऑफ फैमिली मोरेसी फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव फाइकस कैरिका फाइकस ग्लोमरेटा फाइकस बेंगालेंसिस फाइकस रिलीजियोसा एंड दिस इज द फ्रूट ऑफ दिस फाइकस सो एट दिस पोर there is the presence of the male flowers yahan pe male flowers present hote hain and at the base of this inflorescence there are female flowers or center present hote hain gall flowers so this is all about the hypanthodium inflorescence next type of special inflorescence is cythium so uh, in this type of inflorescence the inflorescence is enclosed within a cup shaped structure which is known as involucre or the inflorescence consists of a single female flower एंड लार्ज नंबर ऑफ मेल फ्लावर इसमें सिंगल फीमेल फ्लावर प्रेजेंट होता है और लार्ज नंबर ऑफ मेल फ्लावर प्रेजेंट होते हैं द फीमेल फ्लावर इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय अ सिंगल कार्पल सिंगल कार्पल है दैट रिप्रेजेंट्स द फीमेल फ्लावर विच इज विच इज बॉर्न ऑन द लॉन्ग स्टॉक सो दिस वी कैन सी इन दिस फोटोग्राफ सो दिस लॉन्ग स्टॉक स्ट्रक्चर इज अ फीमेल फ्लावर विच इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय अ कार्पल कार्पल रिप्रेजेंट्स द फीमेल फ्लावर एंड द स्टॉक प्रोजेक्ट्स आउट ऑफ द कप दिस इज द कप विच इज नॉन एज इनवॉलिकर इससे बाहर ये निकलता है एंड दिस इज दिस स्टॉक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर इज द कार्पल द मेल फ्लावर आर रिड्यूस टू सोलिट्री स्टेमन्स सो मेल फ्लावर यहाँ पर प्रेजेंट होते हैं दे आर सोलिट्री स्टेमन्स विच आर बॉर्न ऑन द स्मॉल स्टॉक्स इसके जो स्टॉक्स होते हैं दे आर स्मॉलर इन साइज एंड द मेल फ्लावर आर ऑल्सो रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई द स्टेमन्स द फ्लावर हैव सेंट्रीफ्यूगल ऑर्डर ऑफ डेवलपमेंट जो फ्लावर की डेवलपमेंट का ऑर्डर है दैट इज सेंट्री फ्यूगल सो दिस फ्रोग कैन सी हेयर so the nectar secreting glands are usually presented at the outer surface of the involucre so outer surface pe jo cup like structure is ke outer surface pe nectar secreting glands present hote hain and cythium inflorescence is the characteristic feature of family euphorbiaceae jo euphorbiaceae family ke members hai usme ye unique tarah ki inflorescence present hoti hai jisme jo uh, reproductive organs hai they represent the respected flowers for example carpel represents a female flower or jo stamens hai they represent the male flower and this is the characteristic feature of family of forbc so this is all about the inflorescence next comes the references for making this presentation i have used the internet sources like this website www.biologydiscussion.com then slideshare.com and in other internet sources so this was all about for today's discussion If you have any questions, queries, and any suggestions, you can give it in comment section. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Have a nice day.